Hi Dresser Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Mei Li as a big red panda from Disney's Turning Red. So let's get started. To draw this super cute and fluffy red panda, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big circle. And come right next to it, about right here, and draw another circle. And now I've got these circles in, let's come inside and we're going to draw more circles. So I'll come about right here towards this edge a little bit more. And I'm going to draw another circle. And then come in, we're going to draw a small circle right here for a highlight. And then a circle to surround it. And then this is the part we're going to shade in right here. And this is where the color of the eyes are going to be. So let's do the same thing on this side, right here, towards this edge a little bit more. Let's draw another circle. And then right here is where our highlight's going to be, just like the other side, and then surround it with a circle. And shade this part in. There. Okay, so then now that we have those eyes in, let's come in between, we're going to draw the nose. So let's say about right here. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a big curve, round off the corners right here in the sides, and then just connect it at the bottom in the center. Then I'm going to go straight down right here. And before I finish that part up, I'm going to come to the top and right over this nose, I'm going to draw a curve right underneath the eyes. So right here, just draw this big curve right there and then let's go around so we're going to bring this down and same thing here so about right here let's part it a little bit not too high there and then we're just going to go ahead and connect it with a curve same thing over here nice and round there Okay, so then from there, let's draw a mouth. So I'm going to come down here and about right here, and I'm just going to put in a deep curve right here. And then let's come in and we're going to draw some teeth right here. So just add a curve right here. So I'm following the same expression that I gave um, my drawing of Mei Li. And a tongue right here. And I'll go ahead and shade this part in. There. And I'm not going to color in the nose because it's actually not black. <laughs> so I'll do that when I color in the computer. And then right underneath this mouth, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a soft curve right under. Then I'm going to come back to my eyes and at the top right here, I'm going to thicken this top curve a little bit. Just to anchor the eyes a little bit more. And same thing here. There. Okay, so then now let's come above the eyes, nice and high, about right here. And I'm going to draw a curve that comes down, slants down, and then thicken it up. So same thing on the other side, about right here, right over the eyes. Curve, and then round it off and connect. Then from there, we're going to start to uh, frame the face. So let's come up, not too high, say about right here, right in the center. I'll just give myself a point about right here. And I'm going to just zigzag a little bit at the top so we know it's very furry. And then I'm going to bring this um, flatten out kind of like a dumpling shape. And we're going to come out right here. So it's going to be a little bit narrower at the top, and then it's going to widen out as we come down. This is my usual dumpling shape. Let's do the same thing over here. And come down to about where the eyes are, just like the other side. All right there. And then let's bring it in. So we're going to end. I'm just going to give myself a point. So save about right here. 
This will be my center where I want to come back to. So I'm going to keep that in mind and I'm going to give it some white cheeks. So as I come up to about right here, I'll just zigzag a little bit and then bring it in back to here. To about right there. So like I said, narrower at the top and widen out. So same thing here. Just give a little zigzag here and there. And connect. There. Okay, so then now that we have this cute head shape in, let's draw some ears to make it look like a red panda, right? So I'm going to come right here, kind of like this flatten out area, and I'm going to come out and pop out a huge curve to save our right here. Round off the corner, bring it down. And as I come down to about right there, I'm going to stop and just zigzag some fur right there. And then let's come right into the tip area. We're going to bring in a curve. And as we come down to about right here, before we end, I'm going to come curve it out for some fur as well and just taper it in. So just some details on the ear. So same exact thing on the other side. So I'm just going to drag a point across right there and about right here. So I know where to end. So once again, same thing. It's a little bit flattened out to about right there. Round off the tip and we're going to bring it down. Here's our point. We're not going to go all the way there, but about right here, I'm going to stop and just zigzag some fur and once again come in right here and zigzag some fur as well for the ears there so cute right okay so then from there we have to draw the markings that makes it a red panda so you can do this when you're coloring so you don't have a harsh black line or you, of course when you're using a pencil but i wanted to show you so about kind of like right here where the eye is i'll give myself a point and from there i'm going to zigzag the curve down this way and then this one's going to come down this way and as i come down i'm going to zigzag a little bit and in. So it's the same thing on the other side. About right here, same thing. So go up, and as you go up and down, zigzag a little bit. And same thing here. And taper it in. There. Okay, so now we're done with the um, the face right here let's work on the body so the body is nice and simple so I'm going to come down um, let's say about right kind of like where the eyes are come down about right here so same thing on the other side about right here nice and centered give myself two points and from there I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve out the same thing here so this is kind of like the body, we're just skipping some space for the arms and shoulders. Then let's bring this down. And go back and forth, see how tall you want to make uh, your red panda. I'm not going to make my two tall, so it's extra cute. So then about right here, I'm just going to zigzag a little bit again as I bring it in. And then about right here is where I'm going to draw a curve. So let's see about right here. You can zigzag if you want, or you can just make it a smooth curve up to you. Just gonna put a little curve right there in the center. And then from there, right in the center, this is my center, I'm gonna come right here and draw two curves that come out. So this is beginning of the feet. So let's bring this down to about right there. And then right there, just like the other side. And then let's simplify this. So about right here, I'm gonna pop out a little curve and 
just go ahead and connect there and then just draw two little curves right here for some detail so same thing over here just pop out a little curve right here and connect there and we're done with the feet so then let's draw the arms so once again the arms are going to be on the waist just like the drawing i did of may lee so let's come about right here and I'm just going to zigzag a little bit and I'm going to aim towards this area. So let's bring this bow right here and then round it off and bring it in. And as I come back right here, I'm going to pop it out again with a curve for some fingers. And then for some details, kind of like where the elbow would be, I'm just going to draw a curve right there. So let's do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to find where my elbow bends, approximate, so about right there. And then bring it in just like the other side. So about right here. Bring it in and pop out a curve. And then the same thing on the other side, kind of like where the elbow would be. And pop out a curve. There. So hopefully that wasn't too hard. Just so hopefully, if you don't like these zigzags, definitely just make it nice and smooth. It doesn't really matter. It's just a zigzag, just give it a little bit of texture. So then let's draw the poofy tail. So I'm going to come about right here and draw a curve and then just imagine this curve is coming out so i'll say about right here i'm going to zigzag a little bit once again and we're going to draw this big poofy tail and bring it to about right here there so I'm just zigzagging, sometimes going different ways, just to make it look poofy. Okay, so then there's some stripes in here. So if you want to do that as well, we can do this. Just curve, but with zigzags. So it's good practice, right? <laughs> and one more. So hopefully I'm not making it too complicated, but I think this is necessary, right? Because it is a very furry, I mean, she is a very furry red panda there. And for even more texture, if you like, you can come in here, here and there. Just draw these little zigzags right here. Oh, maybe I should leave it at that. And of course, I'm going to add a heart right here. To make it my draw so cute. A uh, red panda mainly as a red panda from Disney's Turning Red. I really hope you love how this cute panda turned out and if you loved it and I helped you out please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.